I'm Kim Beale. I've built a full-size replica of Stonehenge here in Esperance, Western Australia. We're about 15,000 kilometres from the original Stonehenge and it is the only full-size replica built out of granite in the world. The most frequent question we get asked about Stonehenge is why? Why have you built Stonehenge? So usually the short answer is um, because it was there and I could. And there was another, another fellow's idea, but he got the quarry just over the road from us um, to do the stonework for him. Unfortunately for him, running a financial problem, so we just decided to take it on and really wanted to see it completed. On an average, it's something like about 15,000 tourists a year through. It's just increasing all the time in numbers. The structure has actually got 137 stones in it. Altogether, there's a weight of something like close to 2,500 tonne of stone. With the uh, construction side of it, we're a total of nine months from the start to finish. I needed um, to put in very big footings underneath all the big stones. Um, need a very big crane to handle the big stones in the middle because they range from 38 tonne through to 50 tonne. We're dealing with a 140 tonne crane and a couple of big loaders and a couple of trucks. And Obviously with the original UK Stonehenge, we're not sure how it was done but we just presume it wasn't like that. You know, we've had hundreds of people through here that have been to the UK Stonehenge or even lived there and grew up near it and all that sort of thing, played in it as kids and they all say the same thing about when they come in here. So it's just really good to see what the structure did look like. The interesting thing, a lot of tourists that come in have, have got a theory on how they think the original Stonehenge was built. There was one that wanted to know whether uh, I believed in reincarnation and um, they said, well, yeah, we definitely believe in reincarnation and we reckon you built the first one. And I said, well, four and a half thousand years ago, I don't remember doing it though. <laughs> the most common uh, comment we get from tourists that come through um, is they're just so pleased to be able to walk through the structure and be able to touch the stones and get the feel of the whole build, really. Myself, I haven't actually been to the original. There's been hundreds that have been through here that have been to the UK Stonehenge, and that's the, the comment they say most, that they weren't able to get close enough to it. And because it's so broken, they didn't quite understand the full structure. Yeah, when you sit back and look at it now, you sort of wonder how you managed to do it all. <laughs>